It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys and in today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to do a comparison between Binance and BitGet which are centralized exchange platforms for crypto trading crypto if you didn't know that already. So BitGet is actually the sponsor of today's video. Um, so it's going to be a honest review on what I think about the platform. I own accounts on both BitGet and Binance prior to doing this video anyway um, so I felt it fit to talk about it I, I don't mind doing the comparison okay guys now BitGet I would say that you know this is one that I would use more for the leverage trading and I've used uh, Binance uh, mainly for spot trading and um, getting into certain tokens and bridging and um, they have a lot of networks to bridge uh, they have most of the networks so where I can bridge um, easily or not use it as a bridge, I can send crypto into Binance and then exchange it and then send it back to my MetaMask wallet without having to go through the whole process of using a bridge that I don't trust. Okay, guys, so Binance, I trust BitGet. I would say that I trust BitGet for the simple fact that, you know, I first heard of it from bigger, larger influencers. Okay, guys, so larger influencers that trade Bitcoin, a lot of them are sponsored by BitGet as well. So BitGet is quite well known at this point. They are getting their name about and going into this bull run, they also have their own token. So that could be a very bullish thing for BitGet and Binance. Obviously, we saw what happened with Binance. When Binance were the most popular platform, the BNB token was going absolutely crazy. Okay, guys. So the BitGet token, and you can find it on CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko. It, the ticket is BGB and um, the market cap for this is only 839 million so under a billion i would class it as a blue chip because i'd say it, it you know it probably will pass a billion pretty soon if you do a comparison with the bnb token right that is going to be wait for it 41 billion just over 41 billion okay guys and that's with fud to be honest okay guys so bit get i'm not saying that BitGet will get to 41 billion, but there's a huge chance that it could get there. That will be like a 40x from where it is now. And that is not unheard of in crypto. In fact, it's probably uh, it's probably good to say it's easily done in crypto, especially for uh, a trading platform or a trading exchange token. And we've seen that many times over. Okay, guys. But obviously, Binance being one of the leading tier one exchanges, um, you know, they are uh, quite well known. BitGet is less known. Okay, guys, so getting into one early like BitGet could be a profitable move for you. Okay, guys, all the chart history that we have on CoinMarketCap right now goes back to August 2022. And you can see it's in a clear uptrend uh, from then. And um, yeah, we're seeing uh, quite a few exchange tokens uh, starting to make their way up along with the rest of the market. Obviously, Bit, uh, Bitcoin is has been pumping right and we are going into the halving so i see tokens like bit get token doing well and um, you can uh just search for the token on here bgb is trending of course why not have your own token trending and it is genuinely trending i'd say uh, but yeah the bit get token you can see the price right here um obviously you know uh, we are on the three minute chart so i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't pay much attention to that uh, price action there but that is what the bit get token is looking like at the moment so the platform in terms of usage right it's going to be similar to uh the likes of things like bybit okay in i would say less in comparison to uh binance okay guys again i don't use binance for leverage trading i used to use bybit uh, bybit has um stopped the ability for someone like myself in the uk to use it bitget still has that availability deposits and withdrawals are still available to you in the uk for bit get so that is a plus for this platform okay guys and it's pretty easy to use okay if we come off of uh, this token and we go back to the uh, bitcoin token right you know uh, i'm just showing you this for example sake right so basically it's pretty simple to use you can just come over to the right um depending on how you have it laid out and you can choose from your leverages uh, your leverage uh, you got cross 3x and isolated 10x Okay, guys, and you basically you can seamlessly just, you know, transfer some funds into your wallet and start trading leverage on this platform. Obviously, there's going to be different tokens that are available. Uh, Binance probably has a wider range of tokens. Um, but yeah, 
um, you know, uh, no, in fact, I wouldn't say Binance has a wider range of tokens. Binance has probably a wider range of trusted tokens. BitGet, I know they've been listing a lot of different things lately. Okay, for example, if you look at, um, you know, other, you know, smaller cap altcoins, you'll probably find a little bit more of those on BitGet than what you would on Binance. So in terms of a wider range of tokens, I'd say BitGet probably has a wider range in terms of lower cap, lower market cap tokens or less known tokens. So obviously opportunity is there to trade leverage, in my opinion. Okay, guys. Um, so I would say that. Now, BitGet are doing a lot of promotion. Again, like I said, this is a sponsored video. So they are reaching out to people and they're getting KOLs on board, which is a good thing. Obviously, they have a marketing budget, which is probably pretty substantial and they're using it. So that's a good thing for the platform in terms of growth. Um, I don't have all the metrics for users and things like that. But we can see over here from the brief that I got from the team, right? Um, is that they are they're, they're around about the fourth um, after Bybit. Uh, right now in terms of the uh, uh you know size of the uh exchange or popularity of the exchange in terms of trading volume okay so they're actually uh, ahead of qcoin another exchange which i also use uh, which is a surprise to me they're bigger than qcoin in fact it's not a surprise to me that they're bigger than qcoin at the moment okay guys and they're just behind bybit again i have to say goodbye to bybit okay because bybit don't allow someone like myself from the uk to use their platform anymore and that's because of regulations unfortunately okay guys and this is the data as of april the 11th 2023 again in terms of marketing we know that binance has a huge budget when it comes to marketing and they partner with celebrities okay people like cristiano ronaldo cristiano ronaldo are partnered with the platform by the looks of it but BitGet also have their own things going on and they are partnered with Lionel Messi who is also a huge uh, football player or soccer player these are both soccer players if you didn't know in America you guys call it soccer I'd say right we call it football here in the UK but um, Lionel Messi is partnered with BitGet as well since October 2022 so that is a very good thing it's always good to have brand ambassadors and um, helping with the promotion of your platforms okay guys so I'd say that that is a plus for bit get the fact that they're smaller they're lesser well known and they have celebrities or you know sports uh people on the same t sort of level um promoting them so in terms of growth right uh, which has more potential for growth at the moment at this current stage in the bull market i would say that bit get has a lot more uh, room for growth because they are younger okay and their market cap is lower okay guys and their popularity is not as high so they have room to grow in popularity especially amongst other platforms okay guys now obviously if you want to get into the whole details of token you can go on coin market cap do a little bit more research on tokenomics and things like that but in terms of the big get token right bgb is not listed on many exchanges of course um you know they are a competitor to a bunch of exchanges obviously right but you can buy their token on their own exchange mbxc exchange which, is, which lists a lot of tokens okay guys and if we look further through the exchanges and um, you have some lesser known exchanges okay guys so they are available on the bitget platform okay which in my opinion is actually a bullish thing for the token right um do they do trading fees i'm sure by holding the token you get some sort of discount on trading fees similar to binance that will be uh, very beneficial for them to you know mirror that model in my opinion um, but i haven't looked into it okay whether there's any utility to holding the token but i would assume so okay guys and um you know always do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose obviously okay guys you you've heard it all before it's not financial advice okay guys these are just my opinions all right guys but uh, in terms of utility on the platform right um across the top here you have all of this information okay guys so you can do your spot change uh, your spot trading your margin trading of course just like we talked about your leverage trading your futures and so on but you can also integrate your trading bots Okay, guys, like you can do across many other platforms, you can also do that over on Binance. 
okay it's not as easy to find you do need to go through the menus to find that you can use your trading bots and your margin and so on it's a little bit more in your face over here in terms of hey come and use our products okay guys uh, one thing that binance doesn't have that i know is that bitget has is uh you know and correct me if i'm not mistaken but i don't see it anywhere right um and it's not a, 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 a it's not a product that i use personally anyway however they have copy trading okay guys now i don't recommend using copy trading unless you actually know who the traders are that you're copying okay guys but they do have copy trading over here on bitget so in terms of usability they have that which is one up on binance in my opinion again that's if binance doesn't have it uh, i'm not sure about 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 binance us okay but binance uh, com, which is what i use i'm here in the uk okay don't have copy trading bitget seems to have copy trading and also demo trading and further information okay guys so that is obviously um yeah that's 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 something that, that that they can probably boast that they have that binance does that have okay guys now if we go over to the uh the main page of the bitget platform you're going to see all sorts of promo okay now i just had to log out of that because it's bringing up my dashboard okay which i don't want you to see all right guys um we have to have some privacy okay guys but ultimately if you are using this platform and you want to deposit and withdraw just like most exchanges nowadays they are requiring kyc okay guys because bitget wants to be fully compliant with the fca rules and like every central exchange should do to make it safer for the users okay guys we've seen with binance uh, some of the things that have happened with them in the past and this is not uh, me taking a jab at binance but they have been hacked before okay guys i think it was for about 40 million dollars all right guys bitget hasn't had any hacks uh, not only that but binance is has currently been under some you know scrutiny from you know the sec and things like that we know that the ceo of binance recently just stepped down it has a new ceo but there has been some fud around binance okay guys we haven't seen anything like that with bitget but bitget is not as huge probably not uh, you know not as much scrutiny on bitget bitget at this stage okay guys because they're younger and um you know obviously not as well known but uh you know bitget you know they do have a clean record um currently okay guys so that is always a good thing to know about a platform okay guys but again you need to do your kyc um if it's not available to you in your country your jurisdiction wherever you are that's something you need to do in your own time do your own research okay guys but in my opinion bitget is a good platform to look into if you are thinking about leverage trading or if you're thinking about just buying and holding tokens you can also log in with your decentralized wallet as well so that to me is a good thing i'm not sure if you can do that on binance i've never seen that option okay guys so i'm going to say that you can't actually do that on binance this is something that you can clearly see that you can do on bitget so that is a very bullish thing i know that there are um you know companies or uh, projects that are enabling this type of integration so it's not something that binance couldn't do okay guys but at this point in time i would say that binance doesn't do it and um, you can actually do that with bitget so why is this helpful basically um it protects you against hack if the platform gets hacked for example like what people saw with ftx or celsius right the platform um has an issue or you know the platform's being shady or whatever they stop withdrawals and trading and all that sort of stuff and that's not going to happen if you if you use your own wallet your own hot wallet with the platform so you can integrate your wallet into the platform and you can basically do all your trading directly from your wallet so if the exchange starts pausing withdrawals or they go down you know your funds are always safe inside your own wallet because the saying goes is not your keys not your crypto so i think that's a pretty bullish thing for uh bitget okay guys so um yeah i think that's really good okay guys so um really that's my very short comparison uh between bitget and binance okay guys again uh go and check them out on coin market cap coin gecko jump into their socials i'm sure they've got a lot going on but um yeah i mean i believe they did have a previous token that they've been doing a a token swap for that okay guys uh, it's not something i've looked completely into so this chart information 
might not be completely accurate in terms of the whole chart okay guys i'm sure there's probably a little bit more history uh, predating august 2022 um but yeah this is really all i can show you at the moment from coin market cap um go on trading view and have a have another look okay guys but um yeah uh i do like the platform okay i've got nothing bad to say about the platform and again it's got a clean record so you know they are going to be growing we're going to watch this token we're going to see how well this is going to do i see it going past a billion dollars in market cap valuation fully diluted market cap is already above this 1.2 billion okay guys now uh, can this get to the 40 billion and beyond like binance does like i said i don't uh, or like, like binance is currently um like i said i don't see that as a very hard target to reach or to aim for okay guys so we'll see how this does in the future that's really all i've got for you in this video let me know what you think in the comments i'll leave a link in the description to bitget so you can go and check out the exchange yourself and um, yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. I will see you in the very next video.